Congratulations! You've just purchased a KnitWiz pattern and are helping to support an indie designer. Now you're ready to get knitting, right? Well, not quite. When you first see your new project details view, this is how your page looks. Scrolling down, you see a description, a section for adding wear ease, followed by a section for adding measurements. You'll need to add measurements because every pattern is personalized. Once you've added someone's measurements, you can modify the ease or substitute yarns. After that, you'll want to enter your gauge information. Let's start with adding measurements. Scrolling back up, we can see that we have a drop-down menu and we can add someone's measurements simply by clicking on the drop-down menu. If this is your first KnitWiz pattern and you don't have anyone's measurements in the database already, then in the left-hand sidebar, you'll want to click on Add Measurements. Learn more on our YouTube channel or click the question mark to see a how-to drawing for taking measurements. Go back to your project details page and select the measurements you'll be using for this project from the drop-down list. The measurements will now be displayed and this is a good time to double check for typos. Now it's time to make your swatch or swatches. Note the number of yards you're using for your swatch and enter it in the total swatch yardage field. If you'll be substituting a different yarn, click the checkboxes for your yarn substitution. I'm going to use a different color for the lace sections, so I'll just check the second box. The form is displayed below. Choose your yarn from the drop-down. If you don't see your yarn listed, use the Add Yarn to Stash link in the left sidebar to add it now. Once you've finished making your swatches, scroll down to the Swatches section of your project. Click to edit your gauge. Enter the entire width and height of your swatch to use in estimating yardage. Next, fill in your gauge width and gauge stitches fields, as well as your gauge height and gauge rows fields. Then, save your changes. OK, you are ready to knit. Click View Instructions to get your personalized instructions. And happy knitting, everyone, from KnitWiz.